Hello, 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 great viewers of my time. You are welcome to Bless Biafra Network, a bar no winging network where you can get an authentic news and the great news that you are looking for. Do not think we are joking here. Come to Bless Biafra Network right now. You will see what is happening. This is what we are talking about. It's one of the best. I'm talking about the best. What are we going to show you right now? Something new. Check it out. Today, I actually have a headline here and it says, Olu genocide. Enough is enough. Biafrans are not cowards. Biafran government tells Buhari. Now, before I go on with the news in detail, I will also let you understand that these days, what Nigerian soldiers do is to go to people's villages using different system and method to bomb the place. They will come here, they will tell you that one of their soldiers was killed so so place. Whereas all his lies, false, nothing like that. They will use that tricks to go into the place, kill innocent people, burn down houses, and nobody is saying anything about it. But we should take note that this is what these people have been doing. Their soldiers was not killing anybody anywhere at all. No policeman was killed. But they will use such tricks to get pity from the people. Now they will swing into action to kill innocent people, massacre people, rape women even at the same time. Let me not go far from that because I will analyze this news after I might have finished reading. Now in detail. The Biafra Minister for Information, Chief Samuel Njoko, have warned the Nigerian President General Muhammad Buhari to withdraw his murderous soldiers from the peaceful land of Olo. According to this news, the minister who stated this while condemning the random killing that is going on in Olo East, Idiato North, Idiato South, and East Enveral in Olo, senatorial zone of Imo State, noted that the Nigerian military have besieged and they descended on the peaceful and non-violent civilians population in Olo, in Imo State for no reason. The minister also formed over the level of destruction that have taken place since the debacle started, including the burning of BIM, Master State Secretariat in Mbwe, Idiato South Local Government Area, Imo State. In his words, he said the military knows who killed one of them. They should go against them and leave the civilians and non-violent people alone. We have also gotten a report that the military have vandalized and burned down the State Secretariat headquarters of BIM and Masob. Don Biafra internal government in Olo. The Nigerian government should note that Ndibo are not cowards. The fact that we choose non-violence doesn't mean that we are cowards. No one have monopoly of violence. Buhari should know that we are very much aware of his plans and games. He pardoned and enlisted Boko Haram boys that kills military men in thousands into military and paramilitary, but to drive pleasure in killing, destroying, and maiming innocent people of Biafra, enough of all this destruction in our land. We will never tolerate those anymore. We are tired of bloodletting in our land in guise of any reason. United Nations should recognize Biafra now before things got out of hand because we will never allow ourselves 
to be wiped out before we defend ourselves. The Fulani left federal government of Nigeria are battling more than they can chew. The world cannot afford another war in Nigeria. We condemn the attack on the military and we also urge the military to go after the people that attack them and not destroying properties that belong to the peaceful and non-violence beam mass up members and also killing of innocent civilians in our land. Great Biafra, I hope you heard that man. But well, somebody should help me and ask this man who are the people that kill the military. Because sometimes our people, the way they talk, the way they rant. Like I said before, when I started reading this news, I said that these days what the military of Buhari does is to lie through their anut. They will tell you lies that one of their soldiers was killed somewhere. They use that opportunity to enter the place to massacre innocent people for no reason. EFN, ESN is in the bush looking for terrorists. They don't walk in the street. They don't walk in the road. So who are the people that kill the so-called uh, their member, the soldier member? Our people should learn how to talk. If they want to talk, they should go straight to the point and start bitching around the bush. Look, no military was killed. Even the police postman was contacted and he said that there was no casualties. The only thing he said is that there was a oppression, soldier oppression in that place. But the question is, why should soldier come go into the bush where the ESN are staying? What are they looking for? Soldier's work is to be external, not internal. But those that they are doing their work even in Tana, they should respect themselves and stay in their camp. Sometimes I wonder what these people are up to. When we are saying that these people want to finalize us, people, some people will take it as a joke. But that is the truth. If not, they claim they are soldiers. They have not stopped flying handmen from operating or killing innocent people in Nibo land and Biafra land that was a whole. Now that we establish this as the critical network that will contain all this nonsense, soldiers are turning back to cause problem, to look for a way to look for a security network's problem. Why can't they stay their own and be on their own? What type of Boko Haram soldiers we are seeing in Nibo land and we see in Nigeria these days? That is why the man in Asso Rock, the fake man, has used all flannies in every top top position because you just want to shut everybody up. What we are seeing in Nigeria today is a felonized country. And we, the Igbos, cannot allow anybody to finalize us. It's as simple as that. So if you want to talk, go straight to the point and stop bitching around. Nobody kill any soldier. Unless, of course, you want to tell us that soldier went into the bush to look for Eastern security and talk and there was a problem. Ah, that way, soldiers are the ones looking for trouble. We did not accept this country called Nigeria from the beginning. We did not. The British only fought their way in and take it by force. And ever since then, we have not agreed that we are among this country. Now you are coming again to come and take over our land, our ancestral land. And some stupid man, instead of him to go to the point, he's busy talking about who killed and who no key. You're talking about beam office, talking about massive office. What nonsense? Talk about the churches and the Sabbath, the bone. Nigerian soldiers go into bushes, bushes to look for Easter security for no reason. And they come out, they will burn churches claiming that their man was killed. What nonsense? Is it not hard time you, the Igbos, respect yourself and do the right thing? You need food. Yes, he said we are not cowards. It's true, we are not cowards. But some of you are beginning to behave like cowards. How many times have you seen them condemn flying henchmen? Have you even seen any of them arrested? So what is it that we are bitch, you guys are bitching around? Why can't you tell a governor that he's doing the wrong thing? That judicial governor that they gave you, or the so-called uh, president that they gave you, for instance, product of Lamajiri and product of uh, 
of, of Metiala. We have to just go ahead and tell this, and send it through to the way it is. Every little time, Masob, Masob is, uh, was the case um, among all the people causing this problem that's happening today. Eastern Security Network was created. Was it come out and start talking nonsense about Eastern Security Network? How many times telling people that we don't need security? Who I heard is was the to tell people the poor that the poor people that have been dying that they don't need, have, need security. All of a sudden, boom! Now the governors want to establish security at it. And somebody somewhere there and all the talking nonsense. This the video network was established to contain the handwork of Fulani men. That the president claimed that they come from Libya, they come from Gambia, they come from this and that. That they are not Nigerian Fulani. So what is the hazard? Why is it that the soldiers are very, very afraid of allowing this security network to do their job? Why are they moving around, beaching around, looking for this security network? Well, of course, uh, they, uh, they, uh, of course, they have to tell us now that they are the Boko Haram's because after all, some of them we are brought to, from Boko Haram to Nigeria soldier. They are the second terrorists who want to go to the this time around. They should respect themselves. And every Igbo man or every Biafra man should understand that all those soldiers parading themselves in Igbo and Biafra land that is who they are all terrorists. Because they are from Boko Haram. Our land is destroyed for no reason. Our ancestral land. And somebody's busy stuff him to go straight to the point. He was talking about Master Bambi, Secretary. What nonsense. Sata will tell ourselves the truth. We can no longer throw a flan in our land. Simple as that. Soldiers came into our land, claimed that they had uh, an uh, information that uh, some people are trying to attack that. They came in there ever since then. They have not captured any single flan. And if they catch her, they will be boosting, making noise. And tomorrow they will leave them. And the man said, no, I will not read this. For somebody to come and fly my land. I have to establish a security outfit to protect my people from the hands of EDC four people from being killed. And they are busy going around, committing genocide, claiming that one of your men was killed. What nonsense. And if you have of a man that calls himself an evil man, stuff him to go straight to the point he was talking about nonsense. Tell him, uh, Secretary, Masop, uh, uh, Bim. He started well from the beginning. All of a sudden, he stops for everything. When he, he sympathized with uh, he condemned the killing. Which killing? From where? Who killed any soldier? That for this what thing. That is why. Huh? Why is not the really trying, eh? Believe me, I pity that man because the things he's going through and he has gone through. Somebody fighting for people and they are fighting him back. What a shame. Just like when you are fighting, fighting for people. And the same people you are fighting for are not fighting you back. It's like a God. This is, this is bad. Because of jealousy, envy. Someone like me cannot do this. Maybe I will just wake up in the night and say, no, I will pick up my, if I have a bully, I don't need to finish everybody. I don't everybody rest because the gossip is too much. Great viewers of my time. I don't know how much to say. Either to say anybody or Igbo man who want to speak against the killing, the murderous art of Nigerian soldiers, they should go straight to the point. I said, and stop bitching around. Nobody, no soldier was killed. No policeman was killed. They only use that opportunity to come and massacre innocent people in our law. And this is what we have to talk about. We have to stop it. Otherwise, <laughs> That thing that these governors are looking for, they will get it. Judicial governor in Imo State. And uh, this time around, Alamajiri, Emir Tiala, and the president. That is why things are going on everywhere. Evil people parading themselves as leaders. All I can say to start the Security Network, if they are there to fight terrorism, terrorism but if the Nigerian soldiers are coming to Bush look for their problem, they should attack them back. What the hell? We soldiers, sir. We soldiers, because we keep quiet. We don't have any soldier. What to have is Boko Haram. But if we talk, I'm so what? We should say it the way it is. We have a fake president in the Aso Rock with a vice president that cannot say the truth. We have a, 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 from Jubilee to uh, 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 this, from this to this. We are sick and tired of all these people. What is it? Going around, grabbing people's land. 
That is why he opened the club flannel to come into Nigeria from our side. And today you are telling us nonsense. Who is a stupid person here? Great viewers of my time, I've come to the end of this news. Please, friends, drop your comment in the comment section. Share this news and stay blessed. Let's do. Cheers.